This is a triple helix tech tip. We are going to explain uh, one of the techniques that we have come up with that will let you guys do something uh, the best way that we know how. In one of the earlier videos that we did, one of the first steps was to put a bearing hole in the center of the drive rail where the axle that comes out of the gearbox is going to mount. And the way that we did that was we used a spiral drill bit in the milling machine and those come out very nicely when we do it that way but there are a lot of teams out there that don't have a milling machine to be able to put in bearing holes. So we wanted to come up with a method that we could share with the community that would let people put in on-sized bearing holes with a drill press. We did testing with four different styles of tooling that you can use to make bearing holes. Uh, the first of those, which actually gave the worst result, was a, a one and one eighth inch hole saw that you would normally use for putting holes in plywood. We didn't think that that was going to give us a good result, but we wanted to try it just to see what we would get. Uh, we also used the same spiral drill bit that we used in the milling machine, but when you put that in the drill press, uh, it gets all kinds of chattery and does not give you a good result. Um, we also used a step drill bit that we uh, used to put bearing size holes in Lexan. Uh, and we tried that also in the drill press. And it does give you pretty decent results, but um, we think that when you buy these off the shelf, the outer diameter of them is a little bit oversized. And we think that the one that we have, we um, put on our lathe and either polished it by hand or we sent it out and had somebody else grind this outside diameter so that it would give you on-sized holes. Um, and we don't want people to have to make modifications to the tools to get their good bearing holes. So the last thing that we tried is this uh, shell uh, drill bit um, that we will give you guys the links to. This gave excellent results. Um, when you use this, you need to drill a quarter inch pilot hole for this, for this uh, center pilot to go into first. But when, um, but when you have that set up, this gives fantastic results. And I'm going to show you some of the test pieces that we did. So this was the, this was the first test piece that we did. Um, the bearing that, or the hole that, I'm going to arrange these tools in order. So we had the spiral drill goes with that hole. The step drill goes with that hole. The wood drill goes with that one. And I'll show you the results that you get. So the spiral drill on the drill press, when you put this in here, you can rattle it around. It makes a really loose hole. Um, the step drill is also a little bit loose, although it's better. And the wood, um, the hole saw, when you put this, this is just terrible. Um, this almost goes all the way through, even with the flange on it. Um, we also, so after we did that test piece, this was the test piece that we used. We went ahead and did another test with the spiral drill bit, and that's what this, this one is. Um, so if you take the bearing and you put it in the spiral drill bit, this, this hole is actually better than the one that was, that was in the first test. Um, I think that that's because we were running at a slower speed than uh, the students were running at when they did the holes uh, in, originally with the test, but it's still kind of loose. Um, these other two bores were made with this bit cutter, um, and these, these are fantastic. They're, they're just right on size. Uh, they just go right in. So that's a nice, nice tight hole. So Triple Helix is going to recommend that if you just have a drill press, you use this tool to do your bearing holes. And the way that we did these is we set this up um, in, the, on, in the vise on the drill press. We drilled a 1 8 inch hole straight through both, both sides of the tube then took that 1 8 inch drill bit out, replaced it with a quarter inch drill bit, and drilled that through both sides of the tube. And then we chucked up this cutter 
and uh, put the hole through the first face. Then we took this part and flipped it over and used the pilot that's on the inside located in that quarter inch hole to put the hole on the second face. And it seems to work just wonderfully. So that's it for now.